What the Republicans are trying to do is direct our attention to the future and not to the past. If you look at the, the lineup of speakers, if you look at the topics they want to talk about, it's all about uh, drawing a contrast to Barack Obama, drawing a contrast to a poor economic uh, situation in the United States, and trying not to highlight the fact that some of the uh, current economic problems have their roots in earlier Republican administrations. So I think uh, the idea is draw as stark a contrast as you can to Obama. Obama is the baseline and we're trying to move to the future and point out a way to, to the future that's somehow different from that uh, uh, offered by the president. If you look at uh, Chris Christie, for example, the governor of uh, New Jersey as the keynote speaker, what is he known for? He's known for having dramatically cut the budget of the state of New Jersey, for having actually declared a budget emergency. He's known for having gone up against unions, for, for going up against uh, public employees, cutting salaries, cutting uh, benefits, and at the same time uh, cutting the taxes of, uh, of taxpayers. And so I think what you're going to, to see here is a message that the way forward is getting the budget under control uh, and also giving people more money to spend themselves. And that, that seems to be the, the message. The problem is, of course, uh, this has been tried before. It didn't help. If you look back at uh, uh, the campaign, at least the last, the second campaign of George W. Bush, uh, it was all about national security. National security is not a topic today. Today it's about economic security. Today it's about the budget deficits. Today it's about the financial crisis. Today it's about unemployment. And so I think what the Republicans are trying to do is focus on, on the economy. The problem is, of course, that some of the Republicans keep wanting to shift uh, the debate to social issues. I think Mitt Romney would like to avoid a, a debate about social issues. He, it, it's a debate that's much more difficult to win. And so I, uh, I think he wants to try to keep this uh, focused on the economy focused on the slow recovery from this great recession. If you go the route of social issues, uh, you lose the chance to uh, perhaps get a, at least a respectable share of the women vote. You lose the uh, chance to get a, sh a respectable share of the immigrant vote. You, you, you end up alienating a lot of people. And what, what the Republicans need to do to, to recapture the White House is to create a broader coalition. And the issue that everybody uh, cares about and the issue that it affects almost everyone in the country is the economy. And so I think keeping uh, the discussion on the economy is the best shot the Republicans have for capturing the White House. The Democrats are going to argue that the Republicans are offering more of the same. Uh, it's a policy uh, directed at reducing the taxes on the wealthy so that this money can be invested in the economy and the idea is that that will then uh, create new jobs and move the economy forward. The problem is this is precisely the, the policy that George W. Bush pursued and got us into this crisis in the first place. So I think the strategy of the Obama administration is going to be, uh, do you think that the recipe that gave us the crisis is going to be the recipe that gets us out of the crisis. And so I think uh, they're going to try and, and really say this is more of the same and not the way we need to, to move forward.